girls welcome back to my channel I'm Jennifer of custom chic and if you're new here let me be the first to welcome you my channel focuses on fashion travel and just overall lifestyle so if that is the kind of content that you are into then I would encourage you to subscribe share like definitely hit that bell notification so you know each time I upload a video I upload every Wednesday and every Friday and if you don't do so already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My handle is customs underscore chic. And today's edition of Flash Fashion Friday, I am sharing with you guys just a couple of products from my luxury high and low purchase list. I know Christmas is around the corner. I have already created my 2021 wish list. I have already created my 2020 Christmas list because I'm giving you guys all of the goods, okay? Let me show you guys my outfit and we can get right into the video. Okay, so today's outfit, I am wearing this exaggerated sleeve leopard print sort of peplum shirt that I purchased from H&M. This was $14.99. I got this in a size medium, and I'm just wearing a regular pair of ripped up distressed denim from Zara. No shoes on because I am home, and this is a Flash Fashion Friday, so we're going to make it quick. Um, my Louise earrings from Louis Vuitton, tried and true. Um, on my face, I have some makeup from Juvia's Place. I try to play with a little bit of color here. And this lipstick is a, a hodgepodge of a whole bunch of stuff. But I will put it down in the description box if you guys are interested. Let me know. I don't really do beauty, but if that is something that you would like to see from me, let me know because I am more than willing, one, to learn and put myself out there. But trust me, if beauty is what you need, there are a ton of YouTubers who would get you right. I'm going to get you okay they gonna get you right <laughs> all right let's get into the video like i said i am sharing with you guys some pieces in my closet that's on my luxury that's on my high and that's on my low price point luxury items i did anything that was above 500 dollars um high i did anything that was below 500 more than 100 and then on my low list i just did anything that was under 100 dollars that was readily available this is really the time to amp up those lists ladies people love us and they will buy us stuff okay if not any other time of the year it is christmas time so the first thing that i want to talk about is my color are you serious did you hear that let me go turn that phone off <laughs> all right phone is off we are back let us get into this thing so as i was saying before i was rudely interrupted by my own phone because <laughs> i didn't turn the ringer off um this is my new chloe bag i purchased this about a month ago in chicago at Saks fifth avenue this actually comes in a variety of colors this was the only one there when i went into the store patrick the sales associate was super friendly he was very knowledgeable this has like a croc embossed leather um, this actually retailed for $16.90 and I know some of you are thinking like why would you pay so much money for a small little purse like this one I love a top handle I'm not big or I'm not huge fan of really big purses and totes so I don't have a lot of totes in my collection but most top handles tend to be a little bit bigger than this size I wanted to make sure that I could fit several things in here my phone my lipstick my chapstick and my camera my vlogging camera and all of those things fit in here perfectly it has a clasp opening and closing and the inside is very very um just standard that's probably an old receipt and then there's a card slip right on the inside here i fell in love with the color also because gray is definitely a neutral um this also came in like this hunter green like croc in both leather I saw that in a different style, but I was like, uh, green, I probably can't really carry that purse too many places, so let me just opt for a, a color that's going to be classic. I will wear this time and time again. The hardware on here is gold. I do like that. Most bags, or a lot of the bags that I have, the hardware is silver, so it was nice to see something a little bit different. It also comes with a strap. Um, so this is technically like a crossbody. Um, it is considered a mini, um, but I really like this so I can wear crossbody style. Let me just flip it over here so that you guys can kind of see that effect. Okay, it's stuck on my shirt. Okay, but um, so here it is as a crossbody, and then it is also adjustable. There are different parts that you can um, put this on, and then the clasp also, I'm sorry, the strap also comes off. So if you just wanted to wear it as a top handle, I've seen people actually wearing it this way. Um, 
little secret the green one is also on my christmas wish list so if you follow me on instagram you'll be able to see all of the items that i have on there so this is the first item up on the luxury new in closet items so for a point of clarification i didn't just purchase these right now like i purchased these probably over the last several months or so so this was not a huge luxury high or low haul these are just things that i picked up over the months that i haven't really shared i may have shown you guys snippets of it on my instagram but i didn't really talk about them on the video so here we are next up are these espadrilles leopard espadrilles from ysl now if you follow me you know that i have the logo diocese diocese i think that's how you pronounce it um patent leather or metallic gold YSL pumps. But when I saw these, this screamed vacation to me. I mean, they are super comfortable now that I've broken them in. The first time I wore them, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, they were not comfortable, especially like on the pinky area, like right here, this thin strap. Um, but once I actually broke them in, they were super comfortable to walk in. I got these in a size 39 and a half. I don't know what's going on i used to think that i was a true 40 but over this year my feet have either just they just they fit into a 39 they fit into a 39 and a half and they fit into a 40 depending on the designer i'm not really upset because i'm a shoe girl so if i can get into the shoe that i love it's a win-win it is a win-win um this is only on the luxury list because of the brand but i actually was able to snag these for 400 and some change i don't exactly remember um i got these from neiman marcus they were having a sale and they were the last one left so i think there was like an additional 20 percent off so these are my new vacation shoes i love a good espadrille i used to have them close toe all the time but now i feel like this is a really good print that you can even pair with like florals if you don't know how to mix prints earlier on this year i did a video on mixing prints 101 it's all about proportion it's all about sizing and it's all about the actual prints you're trying to mix so um love these definitely love these um they close up they clasp up i should say um and then they do like this really sexy thing around your shoe around the, the your foot love them i'm here for them and i'm happy they're in the closet you guys are still here next up on the luxury um item in the closet are these loewe tortoise shell glasses wide brim i love that um they have the loewe logo here let me see if i can pan in uh, can you guys see that sometimes phones oh, i hate when my camera does this this is a really hard thing to nail by the way like pan it in and out to show you guys because the juxtaposition of the lighting and then you're trying to get this together Mm, is that working not really well anyway these are from loewe um loewe is a brand that's usually known for accessories they were really really popular earlier this year for that ob belt that is like over a thousand dollars yeah no <laughs> i i just i cannot purchase a belt for a thousand dollars i couldn't even imagine I, I just, I mean, I'd have to wear it every day, right? To get the cost, um, the cost per wear. I literally would have to wear it every day. The way it's also been known this year for the puzzle bag. It comes in a variety of different colors. It's not necessarily a bag on my wish list, um, but I do know a lot of influ influencers and Instagrammers like them. I will put a um, description. I would put a link in the description box for a dupe that I have actually found. Um, it's a really nice purse, but it doesn't scream home to me. So it was not something that I was interested in. But these glasses, I really, really love because they were wide brim. I like that they're not super big. Like the lens is not really, really big. But it's nice and nice medium color. The wide brim here. And this tortoise shell works really well with a lot of different colors. Like even with what I have on right now. Um, they're not show stopping but they also really are very unassuming but they're really nice and they go really nice with my skin tone so i really like these i actually purchased these i want to say also for neiman marcus um also the last one left i i don't know maybe because i shop too much i i, I kind of know what's in stock and what's not and then i also kind of put the little bell notification um so <laughs> So I'm, I'm always in the know. I also really liked the case that it came in. Um, I am really good sometimes with sunglasses. Sometimes I'm not. 
but I never always keep the cases. Sometimes I'll have just one big case where I can stick a couple of different sunglasses in, but I really enjoyed and I really appreciated the fact that this case had a clasp to it. So you can put this like on your purse so you don't have to worry about losing them or staying or getting you know broken or anything like that in your purse if you have multiple items in there and also i was initially worried that okay i can clasp this to my purse but how secure is this but this is just a regular button snap um but i have been putting this on like my um luggage when i travel and so far so good no no issues because i still have the glasses and it just comes with this regular um wipe to clean it up so that is the final list or that is the final item in the luxury list let's get to the highs this is what y'all want to see i really think next up is the high portion of this video and it is none other than ivy park i don't know about y'all but beyonce yonce b you had us all in a frenzy so i am an adidas insider so i was able to get some of these items on the pre-sale I put in all of my information to make sure that I got what I needed to get. I put everything that I wanted in my cart and literally at 12, I want to say the pre-sale started on the 12th at 12 p.m. that Friday or Thursday, um, right before Halloween and the box got to me, okay? <laughs> the only thing that I was able to purchase from the actual website was the racerback dress and the sneakers which i wanted so i was okay with that so let's go with the items that i currently have in my possession and then i have some other items that i'm still waiting on so i will go through those when they come in i didn't want to keep y'all waiting i wanted to do it while things were still in the know especially since she launched the black collection like two weeks after the fact i was like I like my options all at once girl like don't do this to me you're gonna give me anxiety and i don't claim or have anxiety so there's that. First up are these sneakers, which are the joggers. They came in two different side, um, two different colorways, and I actually went back and forth for a little bit between the green ones and the white ones. And I'm glad that I got these. I also got, I also have these actually in the orange and burgundy colorway that came out last year and i love those sneakers super super comfortable every time i wear them i get endless compliments they're now like my new travel shoe because they're so versatile they go with everything and again they are super comfortable same thing about these my burgundy and orange ones i got in a size six and a half and they were just a smidget too tight so i wanted to go up in size but i think in the frenzy of ordering everything i got a seven and a half <laughs> like so they fit, they're just a little bit um, a little bit big, but if I wear thicker socks, they're okay. They came in this beautiful box that I have now disposed of because I'm trying to get this closet together or the studio together to put my closet space in here. Um, but I love these. They also came with this like little snap thing. I can't imagine anybody wearing these while you're actually wearing the sneaker because you're gonna fall. <laughs> like it, it, you're just, you're gonna fall. Um, very easy to slide in and out of. They have this like, not a clasp but it's a it's like you know i don't know what this thing is called but that's what it is <laughs> that's what it is right um so super comfortable inside there is the cord um the coral colorway that she also had with this collection i didn't purchase anything in that coral collection that color just didn't speak to me i kept all of mine in the mint hunter green and um black so the joggers i want to say were 160 they are available on the resale market, but the prices are exorb like, I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm. they're just way too much. They're overpricing them for sure, but I glad, I'm glad I was able to get these. Um, so I do love them. Next up on the Ivy Park is this racer back dress. Um, hello. I love this dress. Now I don't typically wear athleisure wear like just going out i usually wear my athleisure wear to the gym but what i really loved about this collection is there was a sense of like step it up to it right like when she advertises or the marketing for these items they were definitely something that you can wear out and about in the streets um and not to say that the last collection wasn't that same thing. I just have not been able to perfect that look. So now I'm happy that I can. Like I can actually wear this um, 
with something besides a sneaker it fits really really well it fits like a glove this is a medium i am a true size medium i wore this and now pop up a picture of me wearing this with a regular strapless bra and it fit really really well it's so cute um it does get dirty easily so you'll have to be careful with that um i did have a stain here that i was able to just wash out with regular um soap but super comfortable it's breathable it does stretch but um it also is not very forgiving it it shows everything um but the way the material is set up it does kind of smooth out the body so um there's there's definitely that and the last item from the ivy park collection that i actually have in my possession is like i said these track pants um they are so cool they i mean they are regular athleisure material they are the track pant this like i said is a size medium and i only got the medium instead of the small or i only kept the medium instead of the small because of length um, I like my pants, my wide leg pants, especially to fit me like to flow a little bit longer. So if I wanted to wear a pair of heels, which is how I'm assuming I am going to be wearing this, um, I want it to go all the way to the floor. I probably would not wear this with the sneaker myself only because it's so wide leg and your shoe is going to get lost in it. So if that's the case, why not throw on a pair of heels, right? So it has, um, a non-exposed zipper on both sides drawstring closure here and then the straps well they go a little low but you can just pull this in so that they're not like all over the place and again i plan to wear this with a track suit um probably bra underneath nothing like no shirt on the bottom just to give it a little bit of pizzazz um there's a stripe here on this side which is in the hunter green color and then there is also the ivy park logo going all the way down on the other side of the pants like i said this is wide leg and i'm probably i probably have already modeled this for you all as i'm talking so i don't remember how much these were let me see oh these were a hundred dollars on the spot these were a hundred dollars and this dress was please hold interesting um the logo dress was actually $130, so. Wow, okay, I spent a lot of money with Ivy Park. <laughs> Let's go to the little items. Now for three low price items that I wanted to share with you all. Y'all, are y'all ready? Look at these. You're like, Jen, what is that? Probably the most dainty beautiful gloves i have laid my eyes on i haven't even like popped this okay let me do this here um i'm gonna do this side because i don't want my jewelry to clasp in this lace these are so 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 beautiful let me be oh i want to be gentle i want to be gentle okay that was gentle okay great no tear no rips i saw these at zara and right away fell in love oh and they're skin tight. I mean, the, the, wear a nice gaudy ring here. Oh my gosh, I can't. I love it. Clutch the pearls, the make believe pearls. I don't have any, but these were $25.90 and I saw them and absolutely fell in love. Now, I initially thought that I was going to wear them with my blue blaze, uh, jacket that I bought from uh, Balenciaga earlier this year. And I was like, well, where are you going? I don't know, but it might not even matter <laughs> because these are great. I can't wait to wear them. I do plan on, um, I do have a trip next year and Lord willing, um, I'll be able to wear them for like high tea or something because that is definitely like where I see this. This is so girly and fun. Um, I like the colors. As you guys can see, this is actually a brown and blue combo. Like the leaves seem like they're green, but I'm just gonna call them brown. They are beautiful. These gloves are stunning. And I love that they're like lace off, not lace, um, like the satin, what material is this? Can't even talk, I'm so excited about these. Jeez. Um, let's see, all right, polyester, through and through, okay? Through and through, but I love that they stay put at the top of my arm, they don't move. Um, I think even if you wanted to like, Pull them down and do a little bit of ruching effect that would still be very pretty but um yeah i love these i cannot wait for these to get their due day in court Ooh, court 
No, I couldn't wear these to court. That'd be a little extra. Also, another Zara contender is this beautiful faux leather, not vegan leather. Let's talk about that for like a slice of a second. Vegan leather is not a thing. And I have seen people all the time saying it. I've even mentioned it sometimes in my videos where I'm like, oh, they're saying it's vegan leather. It's not a thing. Let's stop saying that. Let's renormalize saying faux leather. I am snobby, black girl SOS. Thank you for bringing that back to the forefront because yeah, vegan leather is not a thing. So let's just stop saying that. But anyway, here is this beautiful cropped vest from Zara. It is faux croc. Um, it has just a button detailing here in the back and I'm super excited about this. This is nothing really to cry home about. This was $35.95 by itself, but I imagine pairing this with even a black turtleneck and a black pants, wide leg pants, that would be a really good look because I assume this is going to be more tapered. Um, I also imagine wearing this over just an oversized white t-shirt, some over the knee boots or some skinny boots that are like fitted to the leg that would be really pretty i just love the richness of this brown again brown is one of those colors that's super in for fall so you gotta love it okay you gotta love it so that is item number two on the low price point picked up item it is fall and i know everyone is into you know coats and blazers and trying to bring that faux fur back in but everybody needs a good trench. And my girl, Jules by Jador, has this beautiful, beautiful trench. What's the best about it is you turn it around and mm, unbelievable. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, to die for. I must have it. I need it. I want it. So I hit her up and I was like, do you still have those in stock? And she did. Um, I actually got this in a size medium. This was a little bit less than $100, I want to say, unless there was like a coupon code. Um, but that's why I made the low list. It's not low in quality. It's beautiful quality. Um, I love it. Like I said, this is the front part of it all is just your classic trench coat in a tan color. And the back part of it is this beautiful like baby blue and white or cream stripe. Um, the inside of it is also that same striped baby blue and white. Um, regular pockets. I mean, it's a regular trench coat, but I love just that little bit of pizzazz. You don't typically see trench coats like this. Um, usually you just see, like I said, the regular um, tan trench coat, but I really, really love this. Um, it is oversized. It does fit a little bit big, so this is probably not something that would be um, I would suggest belting it. Sometimes you can wear a trench coat by itself and it still keeps its shape. This is still just your regular up and down straight boxy, but still, I love it, you know, nonetheless. Um, regular button detailing here, just that kind of like tortoiseshell buttoning on each side so it's double breasted. And regular pockets here. Regular trench coat detailing here. So I love it. I'm ready to wear it. I've already shown it to y'all <laughs> as I was talking, but it has great movement, great flow. I'm really, really happy that I purchased this. So that's all that I have for y'all on this Flash Fashion Friday. I am, I am participating. Huge announcement in Vlogmas this year. Um, I announced it the first time in Wednesday's video. So I'm letting you all know again. Vlogmas is literally 25 days or just straight vlogs during December. I initially thought it was just 12 days. Um, so right now <laughs> I am stuck between 12 and 25. We'll surprise each other because I don't exactly know what I'm going to do. I have tons of ideas, but wanting to be realistic, um, I don't know that I can dish out or put out 25 videos, but we'll see. Maybe I will, you know, go for gold and just do that. So I appreciate you all for watching. Definitely enjoy your weekend. I hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Um, everybody is probably stuffed right now. You're off today. You're shopping. You're watching. You're relaxing. So if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. You know what to do. Make sure you like, you share, and you hit that bell notification so you know each time I upload a video. And I will see y'all December 1st.